In this video, we will discuss how we can delete a node in a binary search tree. So in a binary tree, if a node is deleted, then we have to restructure the tree as per the BST properties. So the property of the BST is that left subtree is less than node and the right subtree is greater than the node. So maintaining this property, we have to delete a node from a BST. So node can be of three types. Either the node has no child, so it is a leaf node. For example, in this tree, the leaf nodes are 1, 10, 12 and 22. Then the second scenario can be that the node has only one child. So these can be 4, 9, 25 and 20. And the third scenario can be that the node has two child. So these are 11, 7 and 15. So all the nodes of the tree can be categorized into these three parts. So either the node will have no child or one child or two child. So the handling of deletion of each of these categories would be slightly different. We'll see one by one how we can cater to each category. Now let's see the algorithm for the node deletion in a binary search tree. So these are the three cases that we discussed. First case is with no child. So for example, node 10. Then second case with one child, for example, node 4. And the third case with two child, for example, node 15. This is the pseudocode for the node deletion. So we have a delete function which takes two parameters, a node and a val. So val is the key that has to be deleted. Then we check if node is null. So this is the basic sanity check. Then we check if the value is less than the node. So we go to the left subtree. And if the value is greater, then we go to the right subtree. So this is the basic traversal of the tree so as to reach the node which we want to delete. This we have discussed in the previous video where we have to search a node in the BST. The first if is for the less than, second if is for the greater than, and now this else is for the equal to. This means we have reached the node which has value equal to this val variable. Now depending on which category the node falls in, we'll have to do the handling. So whether the node that is to be deleted has no child or one child or two child. So the handling for those cases will be different. So the structure of the deletion is this and then we'll fill this cases for the case one, two and three. So we'll see each of these cases individually. Let's see the case one first. So case one is when we have to delete a node which has no child. So no child nodes are leaf nodes. So these are 1, 10, 12, 22. We first just check if the node is a leaf node. So the left and the right pointer should be null. And if it is a leaf node, we'll simply delete it from the memory and we'll pass a null. Let's say we want to delete node 1. So we will delete this and the left of 4 will point to null. So once the function backtracks, the left of 4 will be assigned null. Now let's check the second category in which the node has one child. So the nodes that have one child are 4, 9, 25 and 20. So this one child can be the left child or the right child. So the first if statement is for the leaf node case which you have discussed in the case 1. Now the second if statement is when there is one child as null. So either the left is null or the right is null. Because when both were null, we have already catered it in the first if condition. So now the nodes that would come in the second if are those which have only one child as null. So once we go inside this if statement, we will initialize the variable temp in which we'll keep the non null node. So let's say we want to delete four. So in this temp variable, we are checking which is not null. So one is not null. So temp will be pointing to one. Then we will delete the node from the memory. So we will delete four and we will return the temp node. So that means the left of 7 will now point to 1. So the tree structure would be something like this. So we are just checking what is the non null child of the node to be deleted. So we will point the parent pointer to the non null child. Now let's check the third scenario in which the node has two child. So the nodes that have two child are 7 11 and 15. Let's pick the scenario in which we want to delete node 15. So when we delete node 15, we have to replace it with some other node. 
So what we will do is we will pick the minimum node in the right subtree of 15. This is the right subtree. The minimum node in this right subtree is 20. So we will replace 15 with 20. So the tree structure would be. So here we have deleted node 15 and we have replaced it with node 20. So in the pseudo code, we first check if the node has two child. So the left should not be equal to null and the right should not be equal to null. Then we keep a variable temp which we assign to the right of node. So in our case, temp will point to node 25. Then we keep going to the left of temp until it becomes null. So we are doing this because we want to find the minimum node in the right subtree. So now temp will point to 20 and the node was 15. In the next step, we replace the value of node with the value of temp. So instead of 15 here, it becomes 20. And then we call this delete function again for the right of node. So now the delete function will be called for right of node, which is 25 and the value to be deleted is 20. So for this subtree, we have to delete node 20. Now this function call would fall in the second category when the node to be deleted has only one child. So we'll simply replace 20 with 22. So that would give us the resultant binary search tree. So now the concatenation of all these three cases will complete the BST node deletion. The time complexity of the BST node deletion is equal to the order of H where H is the height of the tree. Now once we have seen all the three categories of the BST node deletion, let's see how we can implement this. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. In the main function, I have this vector which have all the elements of the BST. Then I iterate this vector and I create a BST. I print the in order traversal. So this would give me the sorted order. Then I call this function delete node in which I pass the root node and the value to be deleted. So I call this function three times. First I pass node 10, then I pass node 4 and then I pass node 15. And after each node deletion, I print the in order traversal. In this function delete node, I first check if the node is null, then I return. I check if the value is less than the node value, then I go to the left subtree. If the value is greater, then I go to the right subtree. If the value is equal to the node that has to be deleted, then I first check if the node has no child. If that is the case, I simply delete it and return null. If the node to be deleted has one child, I create a temporary variable which will point to the non null child of the node. Then I delete the node and I return the temp variable. And if the node to be deleted has two child, I find the minimum node in the right subtree of that node. Then I replace that value with the node that was to be deleted. And then I again call the delete node function passing the right subtree and the value of the node to be deleted. Now let's see the output of this program. So BST was created from these nodes. The in order traversal prints me the sorted order. I first delete node 10 from the BST. Then I print the in order traversal. Then I delete node 4. I print the in order traversal. And at the last delete node 15 and I print the in order traversal. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content and until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.